Greetings, one and all. Everybody takes a differing stance when it comes to the recreational use of drugs. Some people are heavily in favour of them due to the ability of some drugs to calm you down and chill you out after a long day, or perhaps the potential health benefits they can cause, whilst others are completely against them due to their addictive nature and their potential to exploit the vulnerable through high cost and sketchy ways to get your hands on them. I personally have never tried drugs and have had no desire to do so, but I understand why some people think so fondly of them, especially when they're being used for certain circumstances, such as pain relief for a rare medical condition or something along those lines. My opinion has always been that I don't care what you do, as long as you don't expect me to get involved or it doesn't affect me in any way, then we can get on just fine. However, thanks to a law that passed in the last couple of weeks, Canada has now become the biggest country in the world to legalise the recreational use of marijuana, also known as cannabis or pot. So with this rather groundbreaking achievement for the Canadian drug community, there begs the question, should marijuana be legal in the National Hockey League? To give you a bit of context, of the 31 teams in the NHL, 14 of them now operate in areas where the recreational use of marijuana is legal. That is roughly 45% of the league. This number includes all seven Canadian NHL teams, as well as seven teams in America which reside in marijuana legal states. However, before this law was passed in Canada, only 21% of NHL teams were in marijuana legal states. So this ruling has had a pretty big impact on the statistics. It's over doubled the percentage of the league in marijuana legal states. But even though it is now legal in Canada, according to NHL Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly, the league isn't planning on changing its rules on cannabis use, which is to be expected. Instead, a doctor who works with the league's health program and speaks to each team every season about substance abuse will educate players and teams on how the changing law will affect routines and the potential changes and or risks that come with it. The issue is that if the NHL did allow their players to take marijuana, there would be major complications. Since the use, sale or possession of marijuana is still technically a federal crime in the US, players would be unable to have the drug on them and would likely face criminal action or even be arrested if they possessed marijuana in one of the 17 states where NHL teams play in America that hadn't legalised the use of marijuana. I don't know about you, but I think the NHL would be pretty upset if a large group of their players got arrested for carrying marijuana after the league had told them it was all good. It just doesn't make any sense, does it? Also, even if you just permitted the players who play on Canadian teams to use marijuana, it would still be troublesome for them during road trips to the US states that hadn't legalised it. All it takes is for one person to be forgetful and bring their stash with them and they aren't playing in the game that night or perhaps for the rest of the season because they have committed a crime in the US of A. And besides, even if it was legalised, there doesn't seem to be a huge interest in marijuana from NHL players. Sure, there may be some players who want to or might already use it, but there has been no precedent set through the NHL's history of players taking, being caught with, or even abusing marijuana in past NHL seasons. The more likely substance for NHL players to use is painkillers or even asthma pumps, let's be honest. That said, there is an argument to be made that perhaps letting players use it more openly isn't such a bad idea, as the NHL doesn't specifically penalise players who use recreational drugs. Whilst they do test for drugs of abuse and will act if the tests return at a level of concern for the player or another person's health and or safety, the league's anti-doping programme focuses on catching and disciplining those players who use performance-enhancing drugs. So it seems that the league doesn't really mind if you use drugs occasionally as long as they don't positively affect your performance as a hockey player. Also, if the league legalised the use of marijuana by its players, it would allow players to use cannabidiol. Cannabidiol, or CBD, is a pain-relieving oil that is taken from the part of the cannabis plant that has physical effects on the human body, as opposed to the parts that affect psychological or psychotropic parts of humans. The use of CBD could potentially be used as an alternative to taking over-the-counter pain relief medication, which might make players' aches and pains more manageable, according to Peter Rubin, a biomedical professor at Simon Fraser University. 
He claims that there is a biological basis for CBD to relieve pain and that we will likely see an increase in cannabis use in athletes following the legalization in Canada. However, Fraser also sees where the league's concerns are coming from, as it's very possible that NHL players, quote, might use a form of cannabis, say a topical ointment, that is only CBD, never get high from it, and still be inadmissible into the US, end quote. Also, if the NHL athletes are wishing to compete in future Winter Olympic tournaments, they best stay away from using marijuana. The Olympic drug rules are governed by the World Anti-Doping Agency, which has cannabis on its prohibited substance list. These substances are put on the list if they are believed to meet two of the following three criteria. The potential to enhance performance, a potential health risk, and or violating the spirit of sport. So in conclusion, my opinion is that I don't think marijuana should be legal to use in the National Hockey League. Not because it's a bad habit or it's bad for you, but because the facts and the statistics show that it just doesn't make sense at this point in time to legalise it. If the entire USA legalised it, then maybe there would be more of a chance we see the league take this course of action. But with there being too many risks and problems that could and would likely occur if they did allow it, it just doesn't seem worth the trouble especially if the players don't appear to be wanting it all that bad. And there you go. What do you think about marijuana in the NHL? Should it be legal, stay illegal, or do you not care as long as we keep getting great hockey? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.